this is the start of our travel vlog. I'm just getting some last minute things ready, like brush my hair, brush my teeth, uh, wake up, just make sure I have everything in my bag. I also did my nails last night from the last vlog. If you can see, <laughs> it's not the best, but they feel like really sturdy and I like that the kit that I purchased, I had like a file and a buffer and some alcohol wipes and everything so I feel like these will last long and I would definitely like purchase that kit again. The only thing is now I'm like I should have gone with the square because these are so long and they just like already like kind of hurt <laughs> my fingers. I don't think my hands are like used to having nails like these and it was also a little difficult like I messed up a little bit in terms of like making them all straight. Again for the price Point and ease of it all like I would do it again from far away definitely like can't even notice when you get up close like yeah <laughs> they're a little crooked but it's fine this is the start of our travel vlog and I'm just super excited I honestly don't really like traveling like the process of getting on the plane and everything but once we get there it'll be worth it so let's go Long time no talk. I'm gonna have to set you up somewhere. Uh, I'll be right back. So, we're, you're gonna get ready with me. We are going to do our hair and our makeup. This is night one in Aruba. It's 4.56 and we just got off the beach, took a shower. I just blow dried my hair and now I have to curl it and do my makeup and get ready for dinner. I think we're gonna do Italian tonight. I'm not really sure. Cause I looked at the menu and basically we're staying at an all-inclusive resort, but the thing is the menus are not that. Like I need an appetizer, you know, from all the drinking and I just don't feel like this Italian place has an appetizer, but I also feel like Italian moves. Are Italian food is the move, so I don't know, we'll see. First things first, we need to get ready and talk about the way here, which went actually very well. It was very smooth. The plane ride was longer than I thought it was gonna be, I'm not gonna lie. In terms of like comfortability and everything and like keeping myself entertained, I did a pretty good job. I took a, night, a nice nap. We were up at four in the morning and our flight was at six, so it was, oh good lord, an early flight. But um, it actually wasn't that bad getting up this morning, and I think that's just because I was excited. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't too bad. So the flight was like around five hours, I believe, and then we got here, we checked in, and then immediately went to the pool and the beach because we weren't able to go to our, our room right away. That was really nice because I obviously like came here to go to the beach and stuff, so we got to do that. Tomorrow we're gonna have a full beach day. We're gonna go snorkeling in the morning at like 9 a.m. I believe. So that's gonna be fun. I probably honestly won't vlog much. If I do, it'll be on my phone in terms of like not bringing the camera and stuff because the camera that I have is like very big and bulky and I also just don't want to lose it or get it damaged or anything. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh. I didn't 
expect the water pressure to be that cold. That is the plan for tomorrow. So tonight I'm gonna just raw it easy. But to be honest, I already had a couple drinks. So. We are feeling the vibes, you know? As long as I bounce back in the morning, it'll be fine. I'm gonna give you guys also a little room tour. My boyfriend who I came here with is not really feeling that well. He has a headache and I think he's just dehydrated obviously from traveling and just like being in the sun right away and not really drinking enough water and he also didn't have coffee this morning so i feel like that look how wait i just noticed how splashed i am yeah so the combination of no caffeine with being dehydrated is is hitting him a little bit you know we'll, we'll survive he's relaxing now you can probably hear him in the background yeah so yeah, that's day one. I'm sorry this day isn't really that interesting, but I will include obviously like clips of the beach and our travel on the way here, which you probably saw before this. And now I'm just trying to get ready. Like I said, it's five o'clock. I think dinner is at six and it's first come first serve. They don't like take reservations or anything. So we have to just get there on time so that we don't have to wait or anything. Okay, so I'm gonna start off the room tour now. It's a little messy already, but just ignore that. This is a very realistic vlog and I'm not gonna clean up just to show you a room. So <laughs> that being said, let's get started. This is the bathroom. Very messy, I apologize in advance, but this is just kind of what the room overview looks like. The shower is actually really nice. It has these shelves filled with towels as well as like a really nice, Overhead, what do you call that? Shower, overhead, I don't know, attachment. <laughs> and then this is what we go into. So it's just this huge closet with extra blankets, a safe, you know, usual that I feel like every hotel room has. This is the entry, and this is a nice big mirror. This is what I'm wearing for night one. It's just that really cute romper from Urban Outfitters. I'm not even like wearing a bra because I feel like it's not really necessary, but it's super comfortable and flattering I feel like so I feel like this will be really good for just night one then we go over to the mini bar this is what I was talking about earlier where they just give you full range of Bacardi vodka yada yada I don't even know and it's all included so they will refill it um, and then we have a, another mini fridge and in the mini fridge it's just stocked with some beer some coke and and other fun things like Sprite and then we have the coffee machine. Now we go to the bed. Sorry there's a purse on there but anyway this is a king size bed and we just got the room with one of them obviously because there's just two of us but it comes with the TV and then we go down here which is the best part which is like a little seating area with a couch a cute little painting oh they also put together this cute little <laughs> towel decoration which I think is so funny this is the little seating area and then an overview of the room it's actually like pretty big and spacious which is nice we have outside which the view this is the view super nice we got an ocean view ocean front view i don't know what you call it and you can see like all the boats out there yeah this is just our room now i think we're gonna head to dinner in a little bit i'm probably gonna sip that drink because i've still been staring at it for an hour debating on what to do just gonna be the theme of this trip because what's the point of putting on makeup if you're gonna swim it off you know that's just for dinner purposes my back hurts i don't know if i slept weird or what but the pillows were a little bit flat in my opinion but it's fine the bed is comfortable 
and that's all that really matters. So it's 7 17. We have to go eat breakfast and then um, go snorkeling. I don't know why I just forgot what we're doing. I sound sick, but I don't feel sick. But I sound like it. Unless that's just like a morning thing. Better be a morning thing. Just let me tell you. Now is not the time. Last night, I have a really funny story that I just remember this morning. It made me chuckle. When we were getting dinner, our waiter asked where we were from. and he, But before he even did that, he goes, Where are you guys from? Alaska? You're so white. And it just kind of hurt my feelings a little bit. We're only here one day, you know? I haven't had a chance to tan yet. Come some slack. Oh wait. Jeez. What was that? Last night we took it pretty chill. We just got dinner and then we went on a little walk on the beach, which was really nice. And then there's actually a wedding, which is really cute. So we watched that a little bit. I watched it, but you know, it was there. So might as well. And then um, we went to the bar, got one more drink, and watched a little bit of like, a live show, which was pretty cool. But today we have a lot planned in terms of activities and drinking. So it should be fun. I'm gonna try and drink as much water as possible though, because I'm not trying to be hungover while I'm here. I'm really not. But I know it's easier said than done. I mean, like those drinks keep flowing. And the water cups are like yay big. So unless you like stand there and just keep really feeling it, that's how they get you. Beware. All right, we're gonna go get dressed and let my boyfriend use the bathroom. Ended up going on the Jolly Pirates tour in Aruba and I highly recommend if you're looking for a snorkeling excursion to do. They give you free drinks and it's from around 10 to 1 p.m. or at least that's the one that we did. It was so much fun. They take you to around three places and each is amazing. They also have the best like rope swing and the instructions were so entertaining and helpful and they also give you lunch that was delicious so if you're looking for an excursion again I highly recommend recommend they're called the jolly pirates hi <laughs> um yeah <laughs> so we go home tomorrow. This is our last night here in Aruba. I just wanted to come on here and give a little update because I didn't take as many videos and do as many things as I wanted to while I was here. If you can tell, I am not doing the best health-wise and sunburn-wise. Like, we just could have had a VA. Oh my god. <laughs> it just, like, made myself even when we're uncomfortable. But anyway, that's that's on me. I'm pretty bummed this trip did not go as planned. I'm kind of mourning that, just trying to like stay positive. But it's hard, you know, when you envision like a vacation, like I never go on vacation. I've never been somewhere here, like here, and to go to a tropical island where it's like 90 degrees every day and have a sore throat and runny nose and barely can breathe. It's just not a fun time. So yeah, although it is what it is. I'm trying to just keep telling myself that. It's just not, it just sucks, you know? So yeah, if you have ever had this happen to you, getting sick on vacation and have some tips and tricks on how to prevent it for the next one, please leave a comment down below. As well as just like hit me with a comment, make my day a little better, say something nice, I'd really appreciate it. I'd love to chat with you guys. Yeah, so if you like this video, please hit the subscribe button and like the video, I'd really appreciate it. I have fun making these videos and I plan to make a lot more, hopefully when I'm better. <laughs> so if you want to make my day, do all those things and I'll talk to you guys next time.
last day. We are about to leave. I am sunburned, still sick, but feeling better, and honestly ready to go. I think we did the most in our stay here, and I feel like it's the room that's making me sick, but to be determined once I get home, uh, if my symptoms don't improve, yeah, we'll see. But this morning we just spent our last day on the beach, and now I'm just trying to soak it all in before we head home. So, yeah, thanks so much for watching, and again, please like, subscribe, comment, do the most. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Adios!